Back here in town, the rain snow felt around the valley. The State Department of Transportation helping get stuck and stranded drivers off the roads this morning. Ryan Maffey live. Ryan's near 215 in Summerlin Parkway with that big impact, Ryan. Yeah, Brian, a very busy morning commute for drivers today, battling snow, battling rain, sometimes a mix of the two. You can see over my shoulder now, it's a very different scene of the valley than what it was this morning, but that morning scene becoming more common this winter, and NDOT says they've worked around the clock today to keep the roads clear today. Up coming on your screen now is what viewers sent us this morning. They're waking up to some icy conditions outside, and it was a similar view out on our roads. NDOT telling me several drivers and motorists were assisted this morning, whether that's from spinning off the road, getting stuck on the shoulder, needing extra gas on the road. But after helping them, they say attention turns to keeping the roads themselves cleared. We have crews that are stationed all throughout Southern Nevada, but primarily up at Mount Charleston, uh, down along Highway 160 in Mountain Springs on US 95 and Searchlight. And when it snows, it's all hands on deck. They're working uh, as, as long as it takes to get those roads cleared and back open. Now, this weather seemingly more tame than what we've experienced the last couple of weeks. NV Energy telling me they did not see any downed power lines like we did in some of our previous storms. That sent some nearby schools online for nearly a week. No other reports of flooding in the county either. But some residents say this is not all bad. Coming up at 430, I have how some people are saying actually all of this wet weather is actually helping their business. For now, reporting live over the 215 at Summerlin Parkway, Ryan Matthew, A News Now.